Hey guys, Kevin here with Scout Tech. We're super excited to get you up and running using this render camera. I know you guys have been patiently waiting, so I'm here to show you how to get up and running and to get this bad boy sending photos directly to your phone. A couple things you're going to need uh, before we get started. Get eight AA batteries to power up the camera. Get your SIM card and create yourself a Scout Tech account. Either go to our website, scouttech.com, or download the app and create an account. So once you have those things ready, we're going to go ahead and get started. So here's the camera. As you can see, there's a latch on both sides. Go ahead and take this latch off. Open this up and you'll see the button here in the corner. Push this button down to eject the battery tray. Fill this up with eight double A's. Now we highly recommend using lithium ion batteries for when you're setting the camera out. However, I'm just using some alkalines just to demonstrate what we're doing today. So put your batteries in. And I apologize for this camera over my shoulder. It's not the best quality, so it may be a little fuzzy. On the left-hand side, you've got your SD card slot. And there's going to be a little icon with an arrow showing you how you should insert it. But you should put the beveled edge in the top right corner and insert that in first so the flat edge will be in the back. When you push it in, you'll hear that little click noise. That's how you know it's in. The SIM card should be in there when, you, when it's shipped to you. If for whatever reason the SIM card is not inserted, it's going to be rotated 180 degrees from the way the SD card is inserted. So this would be inserted in with the flat edge first and the beveled edge on the bottom right hand corner. So once you have your cards in there correctly and you have your batteries in there, go ahead and flip the camera to setup. Okay, so once your camera turns on and you see the screen on, go ahead and hit your menu button. And the first option selected here is going to be wireless network. Hit enter and you'll see the two options are off or on. If wireless network is turned off, this camera would just act as a standalone non-wireless camera like the Lift 2, for example. So select the on choice and hit enter. And then go down to camera info and hit enter. And this is going to be all of your camera info that you'll need to register your camera. If you opened up this menu option and all of the labels were there but none of the actual data was there, it was all blank, just hit your menu button to back out and then give, it, give the camera a minute or two and hit the enter button again and go back in. Sometimes it can take the camera a minute or two to initialize all these values. But once you have this camera info screen pulled up and showing all of your camera's info, you can set your camera to the side and we can move on to the next step. So now in Scout Tech, as you can see, I'm going to be walking you through using the app. If you're using the website, no big deal. You're going to follow the exact same steps. So we're going to go ahead and sign in here. And on the dashboard, you'll see a big red button, register new camera. Your dashboard is probably going to look a little different if you don't have any photos or cameras yet. But that's okay. The button's still going to be there. Hit the button, register new camera. We're going to select the model that we're currently registering. So obviously select the Render 4G by Exodus Outdoor Gear. Now we have two options in how we can register the camera. To register, we have to insert all of these values on the camera information screen into Scout Tech. And automatic registration will use your device, either your phone or tablet's camera, to automatically read these values and plug them in. So I'm going to select automatic. And as you can see, you can see uh, everything that my phone screen is seeing. OK, so now what you want to do is hold your device's camera roughly six inches or so, give or take, above the render's LCD screen. And you'll see your device will automatically read these values off the camera info screen and plug them into the correct fields over here on the registration screen. Once all of your camera info has been input here, just give your camera a name and the name's just going to help distinguish it apart from other cameras and you can change it later. If your automatic registration did not work, 
just go back and select manual registration and it'll jump you right to here and you can just manually input all the values. But once this screen is filled out, we can click register camera. And now we have successfully registered the camera and it has automatically taken us to the My Account page where we can select our data plan and activate it. But before we move on, if you have multiple cameras that you want to activate, go ahead and register them first. So follow the steps that we just took register all of them and you'll see them all listed here in this inactive cameras panel. Once you have done that and you've registered all the cameras that you plan on activating, you want to select a share plan and remember these data plans are going to be shared between all of your cameras so the more cameras you have or the more active you think they're going to be the bigger the data plan we suggest that you choose. Once you have selected your data plan just click the activate button next to the cameras that you would like to activate <clears throat> and you'll notice the checkout button pops up once you click the activate button click checkout and now you'll see we have our share plan here and we can just walk through the checkout process so I'm gonna go ahead and check out you can review review the order and all the information this screen Oh, sorry, not this screen. So, so once we've reviewed the order, everything looks right, we'll go to payment. Now this screen will look a little different for you guys because you will need to enter a payment method, so credit card or, or PayPal. And once you've done that, then you can come down here and check this box. I agree to the terms and conditions and we'll click pay. Once your payment processes you'll be automatically taken to the My Account page again and Scout Tech will begin to tell Verizon to activate your cameras. Typically the activation process takes around 5 to 15 minutes give or take and on this screen you will see your cameras listed in the active cameras panel and the status here on the right hand side will say activating. Once your cameras are activated this screen will automatically refresh the, act, the status here on the right hand side will get switched to active we will also send you an email and a notification letting you know your cameras are now active. In the rare occurrence that your activation fails, you'll see the status here on the right hand side say failed. Scout Tech will automatically be notified of your camera's failed activation and we can be begin resolving the issue. Once we do resolve the issue, Scout Tech will attempt to reactivate your camera and you won't have to worry about coming back in here and going through all these steps again. However, that is a pretty rare occurrence, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. One final thing to note is in the beginning, we turned our camera to setup mode to pull up the camera information screen to register the camera. At that point in time, the camera was, was not activated. Now, if your camera is showing as active here and the camera remained turned on throughout the entire process, most likely you're going to need to power cycle your camera before it will begin working. So just turn the camera to off, give it a minute or two, and then you can turn it on or to set up. And from then on, you should be good to go. You should be up and running. So I hope that was clear. If by chance I left anything out or if you're uncertain about some things, please let me know. Reach out to us on our website, scouttech.com, and we will get back with you and answer any questions that you may have. Guys, we're excited for you guys to start using these things, and we're very thankful for all of your support. We'll see you guys next time.